Good morning, Crossroads South. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It is April 18th already. That's crazy to me. Um, and it's an A day. This month is flying by. We have this week and next week. I can't believe that. So fast. I told you the last month of school is really the three months all put together in one. I call it April, May, June. Just one month. April, May, June. Um, so anyways, let's talk a little bit about some of the things that are happening here in school. Um, tonight is our district art gallery and it is considered the art of the best of the best. Um, there are going to be, um, tons of displays. If you have an opportunity, you don't have to be there at a certain time. I believe it opens at six o'clock, six to 8 PM. I know I'm going to be there at six o'clock for sure. Um, but you don't, you can come and go if you have events or other things happening, but if you come, just come and take a look. I know that Mrs. Dovis has worked really, really hard to put the display together for Crossroads South, but you will see artwork from all over the district. And it's always really cool to see the little things all the way from kindergarten all the way up to the students at the high school and the art portfolio classes. And if that is something that is a passion of yours, don't for excuse me, don't forget to take those courses at the high school. Go tonight, even if it's for 10 minutes, just go into the art gallery. It's at South Brunswick High School. It is in the Annex Gym in the back of the school if you park back by the tennis courts um and it is always a spectacular event and guess what this is our first time having it in person in about three years so um just a lovely lovely event and i'm looking forward to seeing all of the work showcased here from crossroads south because you are fantastic artists unbelievable speaking of celebrations last night i want to congratulate our wind symphony um those students performed at a collaboration event last night which was it's sort of becoming a thing um it was a collab between crossroads north crossroads south and the high school so there were bands that performed from all three it was a lot of fun and um you did a great job so um definitely a fun night it's always uh, a good time to kind of see that vertical articulation Articulation that happens between you in eighth grade to then ninth grade to then um, the top wind ensemble at the high school. So, and this morning, probably some of you are going to be running in late this morning because um, some of our orchestra students were performing over at Crossroads North. And then soon our um, choir kids are going to have a collab event. So very fun. It's great to um, perform and share your, your talents with others. Um, so that is a lot, there's a lot happening. Here's another big thing that's happening. Don't forget forget our community service club is collecting books they're hoping that people will donate at least one book each although I know we have a ton of books at home that I'm ready to donate please bring your books to the lunchroom that's where we will be collecting there's some crates there Mr. Bohm will have it set up um, but we will be collecting during lunch remember it's today tomorrow and Thursday bring as many books as you can clean out those bookshelves is home at home and um, we are donating those for a very great cause and our community service club is organizing that don't forget njsla is coming up and you need to have your devices ready in working order and charged make sure you're checking your email to see if you are one of the students that has a device that you haven't been using um, so that we can get that taken care of and charged appropriately um, and make sure that it's in working order for testing because you will need it if you were given one by the district that is the only one you will get you cannot borrow one because we're using them for all of the other kids um in the sports corner uh we had a great baseball game last night it we did not have a win from our vikings but um there was a little bit of a turnaround towards the end and um it was beautiful weather for a baseball game um today later this morning we are having one of our um extended fire drill um, evacuations, an extended evacuation drill. You know, the purpose of this drill, you know that I take safety and security extremely important. I was recently um, at a school where the kids were just out of control during these security drills. And I, I almost had like a panic attack because I think if anything were to ever happen, I wanna make sure that we are taking things 100% seriously and we have a count of every single student. It is something that matters the most to me. Um, and your safety and the safety of our staff and students here is just 
Number one, absolutely number one. So today's drill, the purpose of today's drill is in case something happens in the building where it is unsafe for us to be here and we need to evacuate and get to a far location. Um, you know, examples of this could be like a major gas leak. It could be um, a possible um, device that's not safe for us. There's so many things it could be, but it is our extended evacuation drill. We will be going outside. We will be walking across the fields. We did this in the fall where we got out to the um, St. Cecilia's parking lot and we get attendance taken there. I will make an announcement ahead of time. There is no alarm that will be sound, um, that will go off. It will just be an announcement. Um, but I really wanna impress upon you that it's a long walk, but you have to be silent. And for all of our staff involved, it is important that we stay with our classes, you stay with the assigned teacher that you have and you get out there and we get attendance taken in a timely manner. We time these each time. And, um, you know, I'm just saying we're the fastest. So make sure that you're safe. And if you're in the bathroom, you come outside, you join your class as soon as you get out there. Okay. I'll give those reminders a little bit later. All right, folks, that concludes our morning announcements. Lots to say this morning. Please stand for the salute to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Have an awesome day, Crossroads.